Welcome to another edition of Sweet Talk. Today we're going to cover the client selections feature in Construction Online. First we'll talk about how selections can be used, then how to create and manage selections, and why both you and your clients will love the way our selections work. First off, let's talk about when selections are used. Selections are choices that you give the client based on a set budget or allowance that let them pick the materials used on their job for a personal touch. Selections are typically used for areas like paint colors, carpet styles, and cabinet hardware, but the full extent of their use is up to you. Many of you are currently using showrooms, selection binders, or even tag team shopping trips in order to help your clients find the materials that they want. With Construction Online, you can eliminate the need for those extra visits and have your very own virtual showroom online, with access to every vendor that you work with too. You can start by creating the organizational structure for your selections. So here, We'll go ahead and create a new category, and let's say this is going to be plumbing fixtures, under which all of our fixture choices throughout the project can be created. To determine the specific fixture that's going to be chosen, we'll create a subcategory for, let's say, a faucet in this case. You can also add the location here, and in this case, we'll do the kitchen faucet, add the allowance for what the client's allowed to spend on this particular material, and then you can also add things like due dates and milestones and some additional notes. As a builder, it's important that your clients submit their selection choices early enough to give you time to have the materials ordered, delivered, and installed without delaying your project schedule. So the due date's gonna come in handy there. You can manually assign a due date just by clicking the field and choosing from the drop-down calendar, or if you've already created a schedule for the job, you can create schedule milestones, which many of our clients will do, and actually tie the selection due date to those milestones. In this case, let's say that once our plumbing rough-in inspection is done, then that's when our selection is going to be due. And in this case, you can see that that automatically sets the due date to the 23rd, um, which is where this schedule has that plumbing rough-in inspection. Um, and that date is locked in now. It will change with the schedule as the schedule is altered, but you can't change it here because it's tied to that milestone. Once you've created the subcategory, you can begin listing the actual options that the client has for their selection. And this is where Construction Online separates itself from the pack. Adding selections is typically done by a very manual process. So going in and just adding details, um, such as the item name, the unit price, the total cost, um, and setting any markups or vendors that you have associated with this item. And so just for demonstration purposes, I'll go ahead and do that now. Um, and this is an option that's available to you, but this is going to be kind of the standard throughout the other systems that you'll find as well. And so here, let's just say that we do faucet number one. We'll say that this one, whatever it may be, is going to cost $200. Um, markup, if you're adding it here, can be applied. Uh, typically, the markup on your selections is going to be handled by the markup that you have within your base contract. If you want to apply additional markup for an overage here, you can. Um, also, a negative markup can be applied in order to account for a discount if it's under budget. Um, but in this case, I'm going to leave it as $0. Uh, we're only talking about the material cost in this case. And if you want to upload an image, you can do that as well, either from your computer, from construction online files, or from any of our cloud integration partners like Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, and Box. If I upload a file from my computer, let's say that I go browse the saved pictures that I already have here and find a picture of this faucet, I can go ahead and upload that and use that as the thumbnail or the image that represents this selection. Once I've added everything I need, I can go ahead and add this selection, and now it's available for me underneath the faucet subcategory within plumbing fixtures. Uh, so again, this is what most softwares will give you. Um, Construction Online gives you this option as well to go ahead and just manually type in the details. But we think that doing it this way is kind of boring. Um, so instead, we've designed what we call our Selections Picker tool. And what it's going to be is a nice little bookmark for your web browser that allows you to grab material selections from pretty much any vendor website that you choose. So if you go to Add New Selection, instead of doing this manually, you'll go ahead and click this option to install the Web Picker tool. And all you have to do is just grab this big green button, drag it to the bookmarks bar on your browser, and now you have a handy button to add selections from whatever website that you're on. So now you'll see I've got a tab open for Home Depot, for example. If I found a faucet, all you have to do is really isolate in or hone in on a specific product page like this. And if you click the bookmark, 
Construction Online does all the legwork for you, grabs all of the information from the page, such as the item name, the cost, um, any thumbnail images, and the vendor link to this as well. And you can go ahead and include these. All you have to do is choose the project that this is going in and the subcategory that it's going to be added to. So once I've done that, all I do is click Add New Selection. If I hop back over here to Construction Online and refresh my page, you'll see that now I also have that second faucet option that came from the Home Depot. And so it's a much faster, more efficient way to do this. It takes all the work out of it for you. All you have to do is go browse those sites, click the Add Selections button, and it copies everything over for you. And the benefit to that is you don't have to return to the page every single time. You can go add this selection here on Home Depot, and then just grab the next one up that you want to add. Do the same thing, click the Add Selections button, and again, just put it in the project you want. You never have to leave the vendor site. You can continue doing this. It adds it to Construction Online and easily add three, four, five, even a dozen selections in a row without having to leave the page. Now, the really cool thing about this is that your clients can also do this as well and browse their favorite vendors and then submit selections in the same way from their side. There is a process in place to make sure that it is not available to them until you have approved it. So it goes into a pending review process if the client finds it just to make sure that the materials they're choosing and everything that they're finding meet specifications and that you have final approval that it's a valid option. Now once the choices are available, the client can log in and make their selection through their client portal that we offer in Construction Online. Um, and you'll see if they log in, this is the view that they'll see. Uh, they'll actually get a notification that a new selection is available. They also receive an email notification when the selection subcategory is created so that they know that there is something, a choice that needs to be made. Uh, the due date will be included on that email. But when they log into Construction Online, they'll be able to come check out their selections. You'll see that right now the faucet is still pending client approval. So they'll be able to come down here, look at all of the options you've given them, see the allowance that they have, the cost of each one of these items. And if you do have markup included, this cost will be the marked up cost and it will not be the base cost, so they won't know what your markup is. Um, but all they have to do is find the one they want click Choose Selection, and it will prove that for them. Now, you can also do this from your side of Construction Online. So if you have a client that is reluctant to log into the portal or they're unable to log into the portal for any reason, that's no problem. Um, we have the ability for you to come through and approve it for them. Now, of course, getting that approval is a different story. So we do have these very beautiful reports that you can generate in Construction Online. Up in the Actions menu, you can create a Selections report. Um, go ahead and choose the project that you're generating this for. And this will pop out a nice document that shows all of our available selections and subcategories as well. And you'll see all the important information like the due date, the allowance value, the price of each one of these items. And so this is a little bit more of the old school method if you're going to put these into binders, but it works very well for face-to-face -face interactions. You can meet with the client, have them look at these, choose the one they would like. And once they've made that choice with you, you can come back to Construction Online and approve on behalf of the client. So let's say in this case they chose our middle faucet. I can approve for them, go ahead and give this digital signature. And now that has been chosen as our selection choice. We'll go ahead and do the math for you, calculate the net value. Um, this actually ties directly back into your construction online estimating as well. So there is a line and a portion of that for selections if you've created an estimate for the project already. So to bring this full circle, um, once the choice has been made and the job is ongoing and you're actually collecting payments for the selections and for the other parts of your project, you can open up one of these selections, go to the Payments tab, and actually track the amount that you've invoiced or the amount that the client has paid so far. So if you start putting these values in, Construction Online will actually tell you if the selection is partially paid or paid in full. Um, so if I do this, I'll go ahead and say that this is going to be partially paid. And now that I've done that, it actually gives me this little icon indicating that it, there's a partial payment made. If I look at the grid at the top, it shows the same thing and shows what's still remaining so that you know that there's never any money slipping through the cracks. So remember, selections are often the most exciting part of a job for the client, other than the finished product in their new home. So make sure to keep the focus of the job for them on kind of the joy of making these selections and customizing their house and away from the stress of deadlines and making sure that they have everything done on time. Uh, it really turns it into a pretty sour process if there's a lot of stress on the client. So these tools make it super easy for them to come in, review the selections, focus on what's important to them, and makes it easy for you to continue keeping your job on track as well. 
For more information on other features in Construction Online, uh, check out our additional Sweet Talk videos and webinars on our YouTube channel. And thanks for tuning in.